prepare to puke when you see whose plans have just been leaked to run against Trump and they're serious. Some people just don't know when to take a hint. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange made headlines this week when put out a tweet saying that he believes crooked Hillary Clinton is getting ready for a third presidential run after her failed campaigns in 2008 and 2016 left her out in the cold. Yes, folks, this is not a joke. And seeing as how Hillary Clinton can't seem to understand people just don't like her as a person, she pops up everywhere these days. Like a bad case of the croup, I wouldn't be surprised if Assange is spot on. Hillary 2020? Trump better hope not. Why Hillary Clinton would be well positioned to win in a rematch. Michael Breens is a historian and the senior archivist for American diplomacy at Yale University, where he is currently writing a biography of Hubert Humphrey. On October 16, 11 months after defeating her, President Trump tweeted another of his regular insults about his 2016 opponent, Democrat Hillary Clinton. Sandwiched between boasts about his presumed role in the stock market's rise and his rally in South Carolina, Trump wrote, I was recently asked if crooked Hillary Clinton is going to run in 2020. My answer was, I hope so. Putting aside the reckless braggadocio, and blatant sexism, inherent in such a statement, the entire scenario seemed absurd. Most pundits, and most of the American public, discount the idea of Clinton running in 2020, doubtful she could win the Democratic nomination, let alone the election, after her stunning loss to Trump. Clinton herself has stated that her political career is over, that she is more interested in speaking out against Trump as a private citizen. Nevertheless, Trump should be careful what he wishes for. Clinton might not be a potential candidate now, but the political winds can change quickly. Recent American history is rife with presidential contenders who lost the primary or general election and then went on to become a candidate in subsequent elections. Dissatisfied with the politics of the day, lured by name recognition and pre-existing loyalties, the public gave each of these candidates multiple chances at the presidency and handed several of the keys to the White House. Add to that Trump's abysmally low approval ratings and inability to deliver on signature campaign promises, building a border wall, ending NAFTA and repealing the Affordable Care Act, to name a few, and Clinton could once more emerge as a serious challenger. Political comebacks, even seemingly impossible ones, are actually regular occurrences in modern American politics. Richard Nixon remains the most, infamous example. Nixon narrowly lost to John F. Kennedy in the 1960 election, only about 110,000 votes nationwide separated them, then ran for governor of California in 1962, only to lose that election. Nixon told the press after his defeat in 1962 that he was done with politics. You don't have Nixon to kick around anymore, he proclaimed. But when Lyndon Johnson trounced conservative Republican Barry Goldwater in 1964, LBJ won all but six states, Nixon recast himself as the person best able to unite the factions within the GOP. Nixon 